So one of the problems that a lot of people are having is uh, hard to fall asleep or sleeping issues in general. Sometimes people fall asleep okay, but they wake up many times or every day they wake up at 4 a.m. So there's quite a bit of things that we can do to help our sleep. Uh, and one of them is to make sure that you're using your grounding mat or your gift you know, that we gave you because that actually can be very helpful. Another thing is going to be to try to set a routine. So like an hour before you go to bed, just make sure that you don't do anything that is stimulating. You try to avoid any light that is coming from devices. All that blue light blocks your melatonin production. So then you're not ready to go to bed. So in the house, try to keep the lights dimmer. Orange lights are actually, they don't stimulate that problem. So actually they don't affect melatonin. So orange lights, it's actually something that people have uh, like those night lights and in different areas. So they don't need to turn everything up. Uh, another thing that you can do is to put a, a, a sound machine. Like for example, I have a, an app uh, that is for free and it's from the iPhone and there's different ones. The one that I have is called white noise. And what it is, is just that sound of, uh, I have it like water, like uh, raining. And that's where I hear all night. And it helps block out the ambient noise and anything that might be happening. So actually it helps me, you know, calm, calm down and, and kind of like just, just sets that tone for it's time to go to bed. Uh, you might want to be make, uh, to make sure that you don't drink any caffeine before bedtime, obviously. Sometimes we just forget and we do that. Um, sometimes you need to see if it's something that uh, you're thinking about and just write it down and get it over with so because sometimes we just have things that are in our mind and we cannot get it out until we just put it in okay so we put it down and that's going to be something that is going to be uh, like very helpful because it takes it away from your mind and then you can go ahead and, and, and fall to sleep okay you can use your oils okay so like the lavender is one you can put it on your on the bottom of your feet on, on the sole that's where the pores are the largest so there's going to be better absorption or you can put a couple of drops on your pillow there's another one for those that are interested that is called serenity uh serenity and you mix that with something called balance and that's another another option that a lot of people find that helps them to sleep um you can also do melatonin you can do one milligram of melatonin and you do that consistently one milligram consistently uh, at the same time, pretty much if you want to go to bed, let's say at 10, a, at 10 p.m., okay? One hour before or so, maybe 45 minutes, you go ahead and you put your alarm clock at 9.15. And every single day for the next two weeks, go ahead and take a melatonin, one milligram, and then do your routine to get you ready so you can go to bed. Make sure that when you go to bed, there's no ambient light. You don't want a lot of those lights anywhere. Plug your phone far away from you. Put that, if you have an alarm clock, put it, you know, look into the wall or, you know, just trust your alarm. Some people, you know, they wake up in the middle of the night and they look at the clock. You're already, you know, making calculations. Okay, so oh, if I don't sleep right now, I'm going to be sleeping six hours and, and you start and then you, you cannot go to sleep again and then you're just awake and then you start calculating again. I mean, right now, if I go to bed now, you know, if I can sleep now, uh, how much would that be? And then you keep calculating. So bottom line, don't look at the clock ever. Just trust your alarm. Put on an alarm and just trust it. If you wake up, don't look at the clock. Don't think of anything. Don't turn on the lights. If you need to go to the restroom, get some of those orange lights and just use that and nothing else, okay? Because that's gonna just block your melatonin, okay? When you wake up, make sure that you try to put as much light in your eyes as you can, okay? That's just setting that sleep-wake cycle. So you have all that light in your eyes from the sun would be even better. And that's gonna be, you know, helping you to tell your body, hey, it's time to wake up, okay? Um, another thing that you can do is you can do the four, seven, eight breathing technique right before bedtime. And that's something that you can do with one you know, serenity, lavender, or some of those. And actually, that can be like very, very helpful to fall asleep. Also, I have quite a bit of patients that that find that to be very, very helpful. And um, you know, those are some little techniques and some things that might actually help a lot. So just try them all, and then see if that helps. And if not, just we'll figure it out because we'll find out what's going on. And there's all these steps that we need to do, but we need to cover the basics. And sometimes we don't cover the basics, and that's one of the reasons that, I mean, we're not, uh, we're, we're not sleeping well. So one of the things, also alcohol, can help you fall asleep, but sometimes then you wake up, and it's not a restful sleep. Some of the medications, they're going to help you fall asleep, but it's not going to be, you don't fall deep enough, okay? Um, so all those things are going to be important, and, um, you know, if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you.